I made a video last time and I talked about the stock is going to go down and I told you guys the stock is heading down to 30 cents, 20 cents. People call me crazy on the comment section. I don't bother them because at the end of the day, I'm not here to please no one. I'm here to give you guys the facts, what I know, what I trade, what I like to do for making money. And I told you guys that I think the stock is heading down because the stock does not have grounds to stick to, okay? And now look at what happened. The stock is actually at 30, 38 cents. And this is after they did the reverse stock split. I, I, I told you guys that I'm covering the original value of the stock. For example, if you got into the stock at, let's say, 19 cents, when was the what was the original value, you should be in negative right now, a big negative because you're down 18 cents per share, which is a lot if you have a lot of shares. So right now, the value of the stock is one cent per share if we talk about the original value, even though it's 38 cents, but they did 25 to one, which means they combined 25 shares into one and they're at one cent. And I'm very, it's actually mind boggling that a lot of people are still talking a lot of hype about the stock, which apparently it's, I don't know where they're getting the, the idea of, you know, pushing the stock so much that it only becomes like you're getting paid by the stock. You know what I mean? So by all means, in my opinion, the stock is heading down because again, the stock does not have investors. The only investors we have for Mullen is retail investors is nobody from institutions is buying the stock. Only people that are buying are the big three names that we have, BlackRock, Vanguard, State Street. These are the big, big cause. Like, look, BlackRock has about 11 million asset under management, which means that they invest in every single thing. Same thing as Vanguard, State Street. These are big names. They invest in every single thing. Look, they have budget to allocate for these meme stocks, uh, gambling, whatever you want to call it. They have a budget for that. But if you talk about real investors like institutions that are doing this daily, for example, they're not in there. They already know the stock is a loser and I don't think we're going to see any growth. And today I want to talk about the cash flow for you guys. So before you, this will, it would help you to know when exactly you guys going down. And again, they will keep dragging the stock as long as they keep fooling the you know retail investors. And that's what it is right now. So let's take a look and see what is happening right now. As far as the operating cash flow is concerned for this company, every year, they're going to need about $67 million for their operations. This is their operations. Every day they pay up, you know, they buy things. For example, you know, whatever the expenses are, whatever the salaries are, they're you know, paying rent for the whatever corporation building that they have, for example. Everything operating is about six, negative $67 million. So they're not even, they're making, they're making no money. This is a negative $67 million, okay? Cash flow from investing activities, which means that if they're buying something or they're buying other companies, for example, acquisitions, this is $97 million. Now, this is not every year. This time around, they bought this ELMS company, which where they were able to sell a few vans. Uh, this is what they bought for $92 million. So this year, it's about $97 million for the investing activities. I hope that doesn't go up and they keep buying this intellectual property. Uh, just to hype up that, you know, the stock is about to take off and then return investors jump into it and they keep selling the stock and keep diluting the stock, which they just did a few when I made the video last time as well. Okay, now as far as the cash on hand, they have about, you know, financing activity they did, which selling warrants, you guys buying the stock, they raised about $167 million. Right now in hand, you know, they have about $86, $86 million, okay? Now, the moral of the story is $86 million, so they could probably survive next year as well. And of course, if they keep running out of cash, they're going to keep diluting the stock because as I said, when they did the reverse stock split, the problem with the reverse stock split is the number of shares that are authorized that you could sell out in the market, that doesn't change. The only thing that changes is basically how many shares are outstanding. I don't know why SEC doesn't change that rule. I would say that, look, every time a company does a reverse stock split, reduce the number of shares they are authorized to issue right otherwise they're gaining more shares and they're going to keep diluting the stock and guys this is not done all right this is going to keep going down it's going to go down to 10 cents five cents one cent again after the reverse stocks that i'm talking about not here this is already one cent so this is going to go in negative the this the, this amount you see here 38 cents is going to go into you know nine cents eight cents they're going to try to do another reverse stock split and you're going to have a lot of YouTubers coming in and say, hey, this is good for the company. No, it's not. The reverse stock split is a red flag when it starts because you already know the company is not making any money. The only way they can actually keep surviving is because keep raising, keep doing, keep putting together the stocks together, keep increasing the amount, number of shares they can um, out, like sell out, and they're going to keep diluting the stock. So in my opinion, Mullen is a losing bet. 
And I'm going to keep making videos about that because, you know, I just want to help people out. And again, I have nothing against the company. This is not a financial advice. This is my opinion only. And please treat it as such. Do your own due diligence. And if you are feeling the company that is going to go back to $17 or $18, well, by all means, go for it. Uh, but again, be smart about it and hope you guys are liking these videos. Subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.